Hey, it's your boy Griff here, back with another video, and today, I got a special video, guys, man, today we're going to be talking about the Black Friday Chrono Crystal guy video now. I want to do this guy because I know you guys are spent a ton of your CCs and you're like, dang, I don't got no CC, so I'm going to be talking about all the all the CCs that she's going to be making throughout the whole um the whole celebration that we just got announced. Some of these guys are going to be like beginners because there are going to be some beginner people that just joined the game that wants to know how to make CCs, and there's going to be like some more um for the advanced players for the people that already play the game and already know these stuff. So the stuff that I'm gonna start now talk about now is going to be like stuff that the regular player already kind of knows about. Then throughout the video, I'm gonna get like towards like other Chrono Crystal guys that you guys can be doing. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So <clears throat> ways to get CC. Um, the biggest ways is to just grind events. You see every single event that we have, they all, they have, they all have ways of you getting CC. So every time you complete like a stage or something like that, you get CC for completing it. And you also get CC for every time you do these little special rewards for each stage, right? So you can get a lot of CC from this. And every single event right here, like this event has CC, CC, CC. Like if you're a new player, grind all, every single one of these events, you're gonna get loads and loads and loads and loads of Chrono Crystal that way because they're new events for you guys and everything you first clear it, they're gonna give you a ton of CC. The Rising Battle is gonna give you arguably the most because if you clear all the stages, you should get a thousand CC, I believe. So if you're a new player, go for these ones first, clear these out, like make sure you got really, really strong units and then clear these. You're also gonna get free units as well, like free Rising Battle Broly and Vegeta. But just clear every single one of these events here. Here, you know, all these, all these, cause you're gonna get a ton of CC. Also, go and do the story mode. The story mode is very, very long, but if you can, if you clear all these stories, you're getting mad CC if you're a new player. So if you're really trying to get like a lot of CC to keep going on to these banners, I would highly suggest you to save your CC for the New Year's banners to see mm -hmm. what's coming there. But if you're just impatient, grind all the story because every time you complete a story thing, the missions, just all the stars, you're gonna get CC there. And every time you complete something from the story, you're also gonna get CC, extra CC from the missions thing right here from this mission these z missions like uh you clear book one chapter 10 you get 10 cc every single time which is going to really really help you out gaining cc very very fast for your new players so make sure you guys grind every event and every story that's in the game um that's going to be probably the biggest way for you to grind cc another thing is for newer players is to soul boost every one of your units so what i mean by soul boost soul boosting is where you go here and you see this, you see how everything is 100%. You need to soul boost every unit to get 100% because one is also going to make that unit as strong as possible, and two, you actually get CC for getting soul boost. When you first start off soul boosting, you get a lot more CC than you do at a certain point. I think it's like a certain point, a certain amount of soul boost you do, they start giving you less CC than they used to. But <clears throat> make sure you do all the soul boost. Now, the things for you to get soul boost, like the souls and stuff. Like how to max them out, you need souls, right? You need these type of souls. So say for example, you have a red unit, you're gonna need a lot of red souls. You need a lot of yellow, you for yellow units, yellow, purple, purple souls, green, green souls. And you also wanna need super souls as well. So if you guys are asking like how to get super souls and rising souls, just go to the upgrade and just grind these events and you can grind for, uh, just get as much souls as possible and soul boost every unit that you have on your account. Because if you go to the missions, I'm gonna show you which events that give you CC for this, right? So you go here, it says unlock, you know, some some boost panels. That's the soul boost thing. So if you keep soul boosting every all your characters, you're gonna get CC every time. So you're soul boosting. So definitely do that for sure. Um, that's a really great way for you to get CC. So next, um, what is another thing to get CC? Another way for you to get CC is to do co-op. Um, it's not gonna give you the most CC, but if you do co-op, maybe do do like probably the easier ones, like the beginner or intermediate. You can gain courageous medals, right? You see these things, two thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. Those are courageous medals or co-op medals, right? And then you can go here, and you can save some CC right there for a little bit, only three hundred. But hey, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's three hundred, right? That you that you didn't have, so you can exchange some courageous um some co-op medals for CC right there. Another thing is. 
uh, your daily login bonuses. Let's go here, let's go to status, and let's scroll all the way down. And the daily login reward. Make sure you guys always click the 10 CC right there. You know, that adds up to 300 CC a month right there if you do click the CC one every time. I honestly don't use the CC thing. I usually just do the racers and the, um, the racers and the energy. But for you new players, make sure you guys always pick that because that's going to give you 10 every time. It might not add, it might not seem that much, but 300 CC for uh, a tire of a month is really, really good for you guys. So make sure you guys do take a 10 CC a day and that's going to add up. So next, another way of making Corona Crystals is playing PvP. Now, if you're a new player, um, every time you reach a new rank, you do get uh, Chrono Crystal for achieving that new rank every single time. I don't think it's going to add up a bunch, but if you are good enough at PvP, make sure you guys climb up the ranks because you guys can get CC every time you hit a new battle rank. So me, I never hit battle rank 58 before, but once I hit battle rank 58, I'm going to get like a little bit of some Chrono Crystal for that. Um, and if you're really, really good, um, they also have CC rewards for ranking in the top certain percentiles, right? So let's go here. Where is it at? Um... Yeah, rewards, rewards, right? So yeah, if you go here, if you're in the top 100%, the minimum you're going to get is 100. And if you can reach the highest, you get a thousand CC. So even try to make it to the top 100%, you can get a little bit of some CC right there. It might not be a lot, but it's going to help you a ton. You're not going to have CC anyway. So playing a little bit of some PvP, try to try to at least try to make it to the top 100, so you can get a little bit of some CC right there. If you can achieve higher, then go higher, and you can get more rewards that way. So. That's another way of getting CC. Playing PvP every two weeks is going to reset and get you some CC. Another week, another thing that you can get CC is the tournament power. The tournament power is really interesting. Um, it's basically kind of like a PvE kind of stage where you kind of have to face against the boss like multiple, like I think 25 times and stuff. And it refreshes, um, it gives you two energy per day. And you kind of really need a, a really nice, like a really, really stacked team for this. So I think that a lot of newer players are probably not going to get into this but if you do have like a good solid team make sure you uh you just make a good team and just um battle it and depending on what rank you get you can get certain cc if you clear you get a little bit of some cc and if you rank in the top ranks you can get more cc that way so that's another way of getting the chrono crystals right here now let's talk about the events that's going to be coming up toward the black friday um one of the biggest things is um the battle gauntlet now the battle gauntlet is the way for you to get free cc um every time there's a new zenkai that comes out now a new zenkai that gets a free zenkai and it's a battle gauntlet where this battle gauntlet for example is going to be like this battle gauntlet for super vegeto and broly and chile when they both came up come out um if you clear it clear the whole thing you get 700 cc so for both of them if you add them up together that's 1.4 k cc that's coming we don't know when they're coming, but throughout this celebration, they are going to be coming. So that's 1.4k CC there. Next, the biggest, um, the biggest uh, way of getting Chrono Crystal throughout the event is the five-week raid. Now, this is called the Festival Raid. Every weekend for five for five weeks, they're going to have a raid every single time. You can get up to a total right here when you read it. You can get up to a total of a thousand Chrono Crystals. And then some more. I believe you can get actually 300 more right there. So each week you're going to get 1.3 kcc. And if you add those five weeks together, that's 6.5 kcc from the raid itself, from the raid by itself, right? Um, if you do get, they're going to recommend you using some of these new these units right here, so you can clear it really really fast, and that's going to help you get cc from the um, exchange shop right here, and then also from clearing rewards, you can get cc like that as well. And make sure you guys do the raid and make sure you guys complete them multiple times where you can exchange your coin, the, the, uh, the coins that you get from there to get CC. So that's another way of getting it. Um, another thing is the festival choice battles. Now, every day they're going to have a festival choice battle. So you can pick either the slot removal battle, the energy one, the skip tickets, or the soul exchange one. And every time you do it, it's 50 CC. So this lasts for... It lasts about like 20 days, right? So 20 times five, that's a thousand CC right there that you guys can get throughout the um, events um, and throughout the uh, celebration. Next is Hoi Point. Now, I don't think Hoi Point give you CC. They give you a little bit of CC in the, in the, um, the missions tab, but for here, you do get really good rewards and stuff like Legends Limited Z Power and stuff if you guys can grind it. But um, 
for Chrono Crystal Rise, if you do complete the missions in there, you can get some CC right there. That's really, really good. And <clears throat> what else? I think that's pretty much it for now. And then there's also a login bonus thing that's going on where you can get Chrono Crystals every time you log in and stuff. Because that's going to help you up as well. Now, to get more, more other ways of getting CC. Arguably, my favorite thing to do is to get CC. Um, I have a video based on this. It's called... The uh, equipment re-rolling guide is basically where you get CC for re-rolling equipment. So what I do is, for example, I'll go here. If you guys are like a new, like an OG player and you guys already kind of know all this stuff that's going to happen, I just read to you guys, right? Just go to a random unit, like just go to a random party, just go here and like just pick like your weakest unit. So say for example, let's pick like Mercenary Tau. You can go to Mercenary Tau and how to do this is... On the missions tab, there is a way for you to grind Chrono Crystals. It's not the best way, but I do it all the time. And that's how I was able to get like 50k CC when I grinded for that summoning video. If you check my live stream. So we go to the missions tab. You go here. There's the way. It says upgrade equipment to A rank or higher. Right. So put this. That's just one thing to know. So you want to go to PvP. Bring this mercenary town. Don't do raiding match. Go to training battle. And what you want to do in training battle is bring Mercenary Tau, bring him only, and lose on purpose. Now, what I mean, and yeah, I'm going to tell you why. So, every time you lose, you get yourself these things called equipment metal coins. And I'm going to show you how it looks like. You're going to get five of these for every loss and ten of these for every wins. If you lose, it's going to get, it's going to, you're going to get it faster than you actually winning. Because if you win, it's going to take you like three minutes to get ten. But if you lose, it's going to take you like, 30 seconds to lose right so equipment medals you're going to get a ton of these equipment medals and once you get a ton of these equipment medals i want you guys to go and exchange for this one this one has the highest rate of you getting a equipped because remember that thing says it's only going to give you cc if you re-roll it for a or higher this equipment gives you the highest chance of rolling a's compared to any other equipment in here don't do any other equipment besides this one you go here exchange them and then you just keep upgrading those equipments and you're gonna get cc for that so that's one of my favorite ones right there is doing that and you get a ton of cc for it you get a ton of cc next is dailies you get 35 cc there so every time every day you're getting 35 cc if you just complete your dailies which is really really good and then all these mission times that we have dop hyper grip hyper dimensional co-op legends festival you're getting a lot of cc right there as well so um yeah i think i pretty much named everything so boosting um clearing the story clearing events raid uh login bonuses um yeah login bonuses the chrono crystal the uh equal, the uh, cc re-rolling guide I, i'm gonna drop the video down below in the, um, in the description it's gonna be the first uh big it's gonna be the first link in the description for sure and then you also have little things like the friend's choice battles and all these other stuff that's coming throughout the black friday thing so yeah you're probably not gonna get cc instantly but over time all these events are gonna come out and you guys are gonna be able to grind it what the legends are trying to do now is they're not gonna give you ways to gain to gain cc right now because they want everyone to spend as much money to get um just to, to spend money on the on the shop right the the to, to spend money for chrono crystals right and then and then like next reset so next tuesday they're going to start dropping events where you start grinding cc but that first week they're not going to give you no cc to grind because they want people that spend as much money onto their shops so they can gain as much money and revenue for the game and stuff like that so that's why that's this first week is going to be really low but once after this week is going to start picking up with a lot of ways to grind the chrono crystals so hopefully this video help you guys out um i don't think it's really the best ways but yeah make sure you guys just grind events and clear missions do the raise do that chrono do that equipment re-rolling because you're gonna get a ton of cc there and that's it for the video like comment, subscribe to my girlfriend and i'm out